so what is happening people hey guys we at Kerr Lake today uh, we down around Longwood and what we're doing we're looking around for some brush piles underwater structure drop-offs creek channels as we all know it's crappy transition from springtime back out to deeper water you know they'll stage moving back out of the coves the mouth of the coves and uh, so as fishermen we're always looking for them now I've did a couple of videos on you know finding structure. I'll try to do a little bit more detailed today, um, you know about how to find this structure. So basically, I'm in the back of a long cove, and uh, I, you know I'm, I'm gonna move around the lake. So I'm gonna go over and I'll use my GoPro. And this is on the big camera, and uh, we're gonna go over a few of these places, and I'm gonna let you see them on 2D sonar, and I'm gonna let you see them on down scan, and we'll kind of take a look at these places. And I'll kind of show you my method of how I find these places uh, as, as I move around. And uh, so I've, I've came in the cove and I marked a couple of places coming in. And I'll mark them going back out. And So anyway, if you've been following along the channel, uh, you know I kind of go over some procedures and how I do some things. And uh, we appreciate all the support for the channel. Hey, if you like what we're doing and uh, you want to see more of these videos, hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and subscribe to the channel. So hey, let's get started and let's go find some of this brush. So I'm back in this cove and I've got in about 12 feet of water and I came out about 30 feet of water to the beginning of the cove. And uh, so I'm moving along and as I'm moving along, you can see uh, uh, there's always a glare on this thing. And you can see some of the structure on the bottom. And I'm going to point this out as I come across it again. So as you can see coming in the screen here, uh, right here, that is those little things that look like, see all this structure? Those little things on there that look like rice seeds, real small, those are fish staged on that structure. And you can see the shadow line. Uh, see the shadow line on uh, this hole here so somebody has probably sank a Christmas tree and so that right there is marked so this is a uh, this is a Garmin Echo Map uh, 93 SV 54 transducer on the back now I think they've actually got a uh, now they've actually got a 56 out I think that's a little bit better the better you transducer the better image you're gonna get up here and so when I'm on side scan, I'm moving along. Uh, I think I'm moving about three miles per hour right now. I have my side scan on 94 feet. 94 feet because I'm looking out really wide. This cove you can see is fairly narrow. It's not, it's maybe 150 yards across it. You've got little coves going in. And I'm gonna basically run the deeper portion of it right now because, just because the, um, you know, the crappier transition and back to the center of the cove. And here again, here's some stumps that are in fairly deep water here. Boom, there's a stump. That's what we're looking for here. And I'm going to get on out, get on out. Now, as you move along, if I see something that looks suspicious on the bottom, I'm going to put a mark on it and I'm going to mark it. And I'm gonna go back over it with my down imaging. If you don't have down imaging, go back over it with 2D sonar. If you go back over it with 2D sonar, you can see the brush kind of high stack. Maybe we'll have an opportunity while we do this for you to see that. So I got a good heading here. Now see I'm gonna flip back right here. Now see, here's a couple of places that I marked. So I'm following my track line back, and there's my marks right here, here. So you can see it's a lot of structure right here. So as I flip back on my Garmin, on number four, number four, I have my lake map. Number two is 2D sonar. Number two is the down scan. Number three is side scan. So we should be seeing some brush to our right on side scan. 
think I went past it. All right, you see we 18 feet of water. The dark area is the depth. You can see this spot right here. Let me zoom in on that so you can see it. So it looks like several pieces of brush right here. That is actually, I've actually marked that. It's three places on a small hump. And since this is touch screen, you can see the water tent depth is getting deeper. So of course I'm not scanning out as far the deeper the water gets. All right, so here's a spot that I marked. It's kind of out on a point. You see these stumps here? I'm gonna blow that up. See these stumps here? Boom. See the shadow line it's creating? There. And blow that up. If I was looking, I would mark that spot right there. Uh, not sure what it is. But if you see a spot, mark it. Come back over and look at it. Now here, because of mine, for me to be able to see where I'm going, I have to change it back to this dual side so if you'll watch here on this right screen you'll see that the it's, it's coming up that's a fish and I'm gonna just leave it here just so you can see it see I'm following my track line right here Boom. there's the brush pile right there that's what it looks like on 2d sonar that's a brush pile right there boom and you can see where I am on my track line boom right there Come back, boom, there's another one right there. That's a brush pile, 2D sonar. Got some fish on it too. Here again, my track line. So if you've got 2D sonar, so if you've got 2D sonar, don't worry about it. You can see this brush under the water. Uh, you just have to get your track line. Boom, I'm coming across another one right there. And uh, there's like three brush piles on this one point. I've been basically looking for about 15 minutes. And, and look guys, another thing, I, you can see my boat here, I, I put it on pause. You can see one of the reasons I chose this creek. See how long this creek is? And it's got good depth of water way back in the cove. And I like coves like that because many times they'll hold more fish because the water is actually deeper. It gives a place for fish to transition from shallow to deep. Now you come on around and look at this cove, and it's a big wide cove, and I'm not saying I'm not going to check it, but I like this cove narrower and deeper than this cove. And over here, uh, this is kind of one of the creek chains um, that I went up last week, and that was a good creek. We found a lot of brush. Now, I'm going to stop panning here. You notice I've went back to just my lake maps and I can actually see the river channel I can see the side and I'm just gonna follow this contour out in about 20 feet of water let's switch back over so I can stay out around 20 feet 18 to 20 feet of water you can see this goes in and I can watch the 2d sonar and it shows up fish just fine or structure and so basically I'm just running out on the bank line looking for structure uh, see there's something on the bottom there it's probably some that's probably a brush pile you notice I'm in 11 feet of water and I can look right here and tell that is the deeper side so I'm gonna cut across here you can see I'm up to nine feet and I don't want to run across that shallow spot because I know uh, more than likely there's no fish there so automatically I can turn the boat Boom, right there. I turned the boat, moved back over to deep water, and you can see the water depth getting deeper. Should start dropping off here in just a second. Boom, there it is. So now I'm back at 13. So you notice the deeper waters to this side. Boom, there's a brush pile right there. 20 feet of water right there. So I'd have been snuck one over here. And I just run up this. So what I'm gonna do here, I'll have a track line. I'll come up in this creek where it starts getting shallow and I'll turn around 
and we'll mark that brush pile on the way back out. Look, there's a big brush pile. Boom. Look a big brush pile. 2D sonar, y'all. Now let me point this out real quick. So you know this is 17 feet of water. Dark is our depth, 17 feet. You look over here, here's probably a brush pile right here. So that's 17, so let's look down here. There's 50 feet, it's about 50 feet out. Right here, boom, see that 50 feet? Well, let's take the 17, let's round it up. That's 20 from 50, that's 30, that should be 30 feet from the boat out to the right. That makes sense? Here's another one, boom, right here. Look down, there's your 50 feet. That should be roughly about 35 feet away from the boat. Well, guys, I don't know what this is, but I'm not sure. But it's gonna get marked. And see, that's the kind of stuff that you, I'm not sure what that is, some form of rock. Boom. So here's a tree right here. Still marking stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go back over this. This looks like some kind of I don't know what it is. But see, that's the kind of stuff that you can you can find. We're gonna put a good mark on that. Boom. See, the screen went back 20 feet of water. Evidently, it's a big underwater rock there. Good place for fish to hang out. Might be just be a big cliff. See, I see some fish hanging out here in that deeper water. Yeah, see, there it is. It looks like some old kind of rock column. Here it is right here. It almost looks like... Uh, Oh yeah, look at the fish there, y'all. Good gracious of life. I might have to go fish this. So, I mean, that just proves once you start looking around what you can actually find. There was probably an old meal here. That's probably what that is. Uh, so just looking around just a little while, you'd really be surprised what you look at. I mean, what you can find. So don't be intimidated to come out to a new lake now, I was here last week, but I went up a totally different creek. And today I'm here and I'm just looking around for brush piles. The more I learn and the more you learn about a new area, the better fisherman you become. And I have seen the times I have found a brush pile. You get on it, the fish will not bite. You drive a half a mile up the lake, fish a different brush pile, and the fish bite good. Uh, no rhyme or reason to that. But that's just the way it is. So I hope, uh, I hope this video helps you guys uh, with finding fish on a new lake, finding brush piles. Uh, it can be done. It can be done very simply by just using the electronics. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. This particular lake I know has a lot of guides on it. It's a lot of crappy fishing here, so there's a lot of brush piles. Now, a lot of lakes you go to don't have that amount of brush piles, so it may take you longer to find them. That's why I can find them so easy here. I hope you've seen something in the video that helped you. hope you've seen something in the video that you uh, enjoyed. And um, we appreciate all the support we get for this channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Subscribe to the channel. It keeps us doing what we're doing. Hey, and you guys remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you on the water.